Negative propaganda, don't even watch this video. Humorous audiobook. Written by, Geronimo Lopez Soldevilla. Any resemblance with reality is pure coincidence, any similarity with current events, people or places, alive or not, real or fictitious, is mere coincidence and product of a feverish imagination run amuck on the part of the author. For best results use headphones, although it is not strictly necessary to enjoy the content. Hello, I present my negative propaganda audiobook, don't even watch this video. Don't read this audiobook, don't listen to it, you won't like it, in fact, finish watching it right now and start doing better things, you are old enough for that and much more. It occurs to me for example to tell you to watch another video, whatever it is, I don't care, but another video that is not this one. Do not put this video that you like, it would be an action that does not deserve your precious time, and do not even think about dreaming to ring the small bell, I tell you because this way you will avoid finding out anything that has to do with this video, and if at this point by chance it occurs to you to subscribe, forget about it, don't do it, don't subscribe, please I ask you with all my heart. This audiobook for not calling it garbage, it is not worth being listened to by anyone, it has no content, it does not talk about anything, what if what you intend is to have a feeling of emptiness and waste of time when you finish listening to what you are going to hear. That's what's going to happen, and as the video progresses, I assure you it becomes more and more boring than a clown at a wake. Don't share it with anyone, no person in the world deserves to suffer such a mental pain as a ball in the ear. Can you imagine the ridicule of someone capable of sharing an audiobook with his friends? And, moreover, of an audiobook capable of going far beyond the border of boredom to become a real abomination worthy of the greatest possible contempt caused by unbearable tedium. This video is not about funny little animals with a standardized laughter in the background that nobody likes. In this video you are not going to see the author saying that he understands perfectly well as an author who can barely read or write moderately well due to his poor academic training received in normal school, and that he only aspires to make a good living from YouTube payments by trying to upload viral videos, even if he talks nonsense and hoping to find an audience like him, who will like, subscribe, and share it to others like him. This video is not about politicians making fools of themselves by acting like candidates for political office at election time talking about themselves and demonstrating that they are capable of greeting and talking to people who don't care about their lives before the election, let alone after the election. Neither is a video that deals with a language that promises full employment, economic growth, increased purchasing power, the revaluation of labor, the importance of education, culture, and legality within the framework of morality, starring a being who throughout his professional career and by his actions, has proven to behave like an ignoramus full of prejudices, and therefore, an incompetent who has enjoyed preferences at the expense of despising the collective morality, through deception and transgression of the rules governing that community and of which he continues trying to live with privileges through an invented story where the bad guys are those who discover his idyllic lies of a better world that only he knows and that only he is capable of carrying out. It is not a video that deals with a high public official recorded incognito at a dinner with businessmen awarded with contracts granted by the government, and that the next day when his voice appears in a recording in all newscasts nationwide, Mr. Recorded and with his same voice, exposes that he never said he needed a large amount of millions of dollars to win the next elections. That in reality he was referring and implying that the investments would be as safe as betting on a winning. Horse through bids placed in sealed envelopes, where instead of putting the amount of capital for the work or service they wanted to have access to, they had to send a sealed envelope with the net amount to be contributed to the campaign. And neither is it a video recorded later, in which the man denies the previous video, saying that the sound was edited, and although there is another live video in which the man recorded at the dinner picked up briefcases full of bills, he also denies it, arguing that it was a payment for some artisanal cheeses that he sold legally for the consumption of customers of unlicensed casinos.
It is not a video that shows a group of recent graduates in economic sciences who invested their savings and those of their families in real estate and cryptocurrencies on the advice of their university teachers, and that after the real estate bubble, the decline of cryptocurrencies, the galloping inflation and the measures of interest rate hikes by central banks to try to curb the situation, which ended up aggravating the situation, resulted in all their properties having less value. Then the debt they acquired when buying, with the result that now these students of economic sciences are completely foreclosed and evicted, because even selling the acquired possessions and those of their relatives who served as guarantors, they still owe money. It is not a video in which a visionary tells you how to get out of the crisis of the students of economic sciences by means of magic formulas, potions and sorceries that he himself put to the test, consisting in the falsification of public and private documents to get rid of debts by passing them on, some to his wife's lovers, and others to the husbands of his lovers, while involving third parties in these transactions, such as brothers-in-law, in-laws and second cousins. This is not a video response from a visionary to the previous visionary saying that he works less than a deaf-mute one-legged spy, and that he finances himself from the retirement pension of his parents, from whom he steals their furniture and household appliances to sell them through an association of handicapped children whom they rent out to beg for money and clean windshields at traffic lights. It is not a video that tries to convince anyone that it is possible and more important to have a friend in a political party than to have a permanent job, because through the friend of the political party you can get something better than a job, that is, wealth, prosperity, opportunities and a better life throughout life, although with the risk of playing everything to a card, without saying in the video that the intention is to bet on that card regardless of the consequences. Just so you know, after watching this video, a prestigious university, which did not want to give its name because of the embarrassment of accepting that they watched the entire video for research, reported the emergency admission of the entire research team to a psychiatric center with signs of severe depression. Studies of another university carried out by four expelled students, because at the age of 50 and without getting their degree, they were not allowed to continue researching at the expense of the public treasury besides running the cafeteria, the finances, and the current educational plan. They have shown that watching this video improves the result of a facial treatment by 300% due to the grimaces of disgust and displeasure produced by the boredom of listening to it. The other day, without going any further, I met a guy with an endless number of pimples and holes in his face, who looked more like a limestone than a face, and to whom everyone referred to as the scar. The scar, without saying a word, motioned me with one hand in a clear gesture that I should wait a moment, whereupon he bent down to stand up again quickly after a small jump, at the same time holding a series of papers in his possession which he placed on my hand, not without first, and with some added clumsiness, tripping over a bowl of ketchup from a hot dog stand where I was hiding from the world. The result of the slip being that the scar spilled the red liquid on the papers in my hand. This fact in turn, caused him to immediately, as if in a reflex action, take them to the chest of his shirt to rub them hard in an attempt of quick cleaning, stretch them and put them in front of me, accompanied by a smile that tried to tell me not to worry, that everything was fine, that there was absolutely nothing to worry about, but to sign those papers, making me responsible for what could happen to him for listening to this video in the form of an audiobook. In my eagerness to check if I would have problems with Mr. Cicatrice I showed the video to a friend, and without saying a word he smashed my computer on my head, and taking advantage of the fact that I was unconscious from the tremendous blow, he stole all my savings, and I still had to ask him for forgiveness. Not happy with my friend's reaction I decided to show this video to my dear wife, but this time I did it on a big TV that I had to buy after the embezzlement done by my friend. As a result of such action my wife denounced me directly to the competent authorities in the family area, where I ended up being guilty in the trial raised against me when she showed this video as evidence, 
and in whose sentence it was specified that I was obliged to pass her monthly a salary that in the end my dear wife would use to gamble online and buy a 50 kilos dog, with the final consequence that I also had to pay for the dog's maintenance, give her back pensions retroactively. For the fact that she had shared part of her life with me, take care of her credit card debts and those of her new lover, and also have to pay for her well-deserved vacation of three months a year in one of the most exclusive tourist places. I prefer not to say anything about my family's house and properties, since she kept them as compensation for the psychological damage caused. The only thing missing now is an advertisement for you to stop watching this video, an advertisement saying that what they advertise is false and recognizing that they want to deceive you, because the most important thing for that company is themselves and because of that, they have to make ads to try to sell because they have not realized that they have left aside the most important thing, that is, the customer. At this point, the only thing missing is the part that tells how the audiobook was made with images that pretend to be funny but are not and that are only used as filler to keep the viewer in front of the video for more time in order to accumulate hours of playback. So if it crossed your mind to give any reward to this audiobook don't do it, because nothing is taught here, this is not a mechanics tutorial made by a hairdresser. It is not a video on how to learn to program in 5 minutes from scratch and without a computer. It is not a video that rubs your face in how to eat in a restaurant for free by threatening to be an influencer capable of giving negative propaganda. It is not a video that teaches you how to educate in values to your friends who ignore you because their communications on their cell phones are more important than your own presence which they despise by ignoring you. It is not a fake news video launched with premeditation by trolls through images accompanied by text that pretend to instill in you an idea of reality according to the interests of a group so that you share it thinking that this makes you interesting in front of virtual friends unable to communicate with a physical activity, impossible to educate, with minimal IQ and flat encephalogram, who answer you with smiley faces, because they do not even consider that you deserve the effort to write to you with all the letters, do not be an idiot. It is not a video of an idiot who is paid to be an idiot, with an idiotic conversation he has with his idiot followers, demonstrating that the one who follows an idiot is also an idiot, for the same reason, that more for more equals more. And to finish this video is not the typical one that tells you, if you liked the video give me a like, do not forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to receive information from the channel and above all share. Thanks for your attention. If you like the narration, visit my channel where you can find a great variety of content and where I will upload more short humor audiobooks.